this is my Turkey Amar Medli with the latest news in English on Azvision TV. The President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, attended the opening of a new residential complex for IDPs in Baku earlier today. The head of state viewed the conditions created at the residential complex. Roshan Rizayev, chairman of the State Committee for Work with Refugees and IDPs, said all apartments in the complex are repaired and well equipped. Later on, President Aliyev met IDP families. The head of state noted the solution of IDP's problems is the main priority of the Azerbaijan state. He said about 6,000 apartments for IDP families will be commissioned in Azerbaijan by the end of the year. Touching upon the armenia azerbaijan nagorno karabakh conflict, the president said the country's principled position on the settlement process remains unchanged. Historical justice is on our side, said President Aliyev, stressing that the conflict must be resolved within the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Azerbaijan. Over the past 24 hours, the Armenian armed forces violated the ceasefire 21 times along the contact line between Azerbaijan and Armenian troops using heavy machine guns, reports the Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan. The withdrawal of Armenian troops from the occupied territories of Azerbaijan for sure can build an absolutely different environment. Elmar Mehmedyarov, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan, said while answering Armenian journalist's question on the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict aboard his flight from Barcelona to Moscow. Azerbaijan is Everybody thinks uh, the results are different. I think that if you look inside of the story, there is different uh, stories as usual in any yeah. war. Everyone is uh, building up its own story, who is guilty, who is uh, the right and so on. But in general, I think that the April 2016 is showing up uh, that unfortunately this is not coming here. And that's what we always say, just uh, that the army must be returned back to barracks. And uh, this is the only way how we can proceed for the peaceful resolution. Uh, whenever we're talking about peaceful resolution, we are understanding that the biggest trouble for the peaceful resolution is a military. The European Court on Human Rights will soon make a decision on Azerbaijan Zilga Masyarov and Shahbaz Guliev, taken hostage by the Armenian Armed Forces, said Anar Bagorov, chairman of the Azerbaijan Bar Association. Bagorov expressed confidence that the European Court will protect the hostages' rights, taking into account the fair position of the Azerbaijan side. Note that during an operation in July 2014, in the occupied Kelbajar district of Azerbaijan, the Armenian Armed Forces killed Azerbaijani citizen Hassan Hassanov and took hostage Zilga Masyarov and Shahbaz Guliev. Azerbaijan is a close partner of NATO and works closely with the alliance in furthering international peace and security. The NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said at a press conference after the meeting of the foreign ministers of the NATO dedicated to the alliance's 70th anniversary. Not least, Azerbaijan makes important contributions to the NATO mission in Afghanistan by providing troops and assistance to NATO allies on transit routes on land in the air uh, and by rail, uh, for example, through the use of the BTK rail link. These are important contributions uh, to the success of the NATO uh, missions. And that's all for today from Asvision TV. Thanks for your attention. See you tomorrow.